China has successfully completed a series of crucial touchdown and takeoff tests for its next-generation lunar lander, marking a major milestone in the country's ambitious plan to send astronauts to the moon by 2030. The tests, carried out at a specialized simulation facility in eastern China, evaluated the lander's precision landing capabilities, stability on uneven lunar terrain, and ability to lift off from the moon's surface to return to orbit. These capabilities are essential for the safe execution of a crewed lunar mission and represent one of the most challenging phases of the program's development. According to the China National Space Administration CNSA, the tests replicated lunar gravity conditions using advanced suspension systems, allowing engineers to assess how the lander's thrusters, guidance systems, and landing legs would perform in a real mission scenario. The simulated touchdown involved navigating a descent trajectory, avoiding hazards such as rocks and craters, and softly landing at a designated point. Following this, the vehicle successfully simulated a lunar ascent, a critical maneuver required for astronauts to return to an orbiting spacecraft for their journey back to Earth. The successful trials come as China accelerates preparations for its first crewed moon landing, a goal that would place the nation alongside the United States as the only countries to have achieved such a feat. The planned mission is part of the broader Chinese lunar exploration program, which has already delivered major achievements, including the Chang'e, for mission that made the first soft landing on the moon's far side in 2019, and the Chang'e 5 mission that brought back lunar samples in 2020. Chinese engineers emphasize that while robotic missions have already demonstrated the country's technical skill, crewed lunar operations require significantly higher safety margins and more robust systems. The new lander is being designed to carry two astronauts and essential scientific equipment, enabling extended stays on the lunar surface for exploration and research. CNSA officials have stated that further testing will continue over the next several years, including integration trials with China's Long March 10th heavy lift rocket, which is under development for deep space missions. These advancements highlight China's growing role in the new era of lunar exploration, where competition and cooperation between global space powers are shaping the future of human spaceflight. If the 2030 goal is met, China will have taken a giant leap toward establishing a sustained human presence on the moon.